Well, Luffer, first and foremost, um, walk us through the overtime goal. Looked like not a whole lot to it, just you found the soft spot and Sammy found you. Yeah, I kind of saw like uh, your kind of possession there and Joe kind of was looking my way. I kind of saw the forwards came backwards, so I kind of just read off that and then uh, just went to my strength and, you know, luckily went in and you know, got the big two points there. You began the year with Charlotte on a PTO and obviously there's a lot of different factors that go into play there, but they could have theoretically signed you to an AHL deal. They didn't. Springfield did. So how much did these two games mean to you in light of that, if it did at all? I mean, anytime you play an old team, it's great to get the win. But, I mean, I got nothing respect for that group over there. I mean, they gave me an opportunity to show my skill set. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm really happy to be here, and I think it's a great group in here. But, I mean, anytime you play an old team, you can get uh, the four points against them. It's huge. Being able to plug yourself right in with Nikki and with Pex, a couple of guys who have been stalwarts here in Springfield for a number of years. How easy is it to jump right in with those two on your opposite sides? I mean, they make it easy. I mean, they're so good at what they do. And, you know, the transition to playing with them kind of took us the first game. But I think game two and three here has been a lot better. And I think it's just, you know, hats off to those guys for making me feel comfortable and letting me play my game and knowing that mistakes are going to happen, but they're going to be there for me. So it's been awesome. We've talked about this many times where you guys feed off the crowd and how much did you guys feel that energy tonight throughout the game? I mean, I've never played here before in my seven years now going to year eight, but I mean, the last three home games has been awesome. I think this crowd's electric and uh, I mean, when it gets rock and you can really feel it, I think it's one of the better crowds I've ever played in front of here. You guys are playing hard for tomorrow. What do you guys want to fix for tomorrow against a tough team? I think just being consistent. I think that third period, we kind of got away from our game, which is being direct and physical. And I think, uh, you know, when we were physical on them, we kind of owned the play there and we were in their end. But I think it's just, you know what, not a whole lot to fix, but it's just clean up in the third there. And uh, I think overall, it was a pretty good game. I get the feeling that the player of the game item, whatever it is, might very well go to your netminder tonight. How huge was he in keeping you guys in I mean, this thing? I think you even look at it since I've been here since Hershey. I mean, you know what? Unfortunate goal when they won it, but I think they've all been solid. Him, Ellie, but I think it's just, you know, when goalies are good, you have a lot of confidence, and I think that's what we got in those two right now, and I think it's how you build offense and, you know, gives guys a little bit of a uh, looser hand on the sticks here, not gripping that hard, but I think it's a tip of the cap to the goalies to uh, infuse that confidence in us and that they're going to be there.